Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this unseen video for what has got to be one of the best Raws, not only of this year, but probably last year, maybe the year before that. I, I honestly don't know the last Raw I watched that was as good as what we were served this week. It it's special. I mean, that's the only way I can word it, really. This was special. I don't know that we can expect this next week or the week after that or whatever. Although saying that, obviously, next week is the go home. That's the episode The Rock is actually advertised for. And then the week after that will be the Raw after WrestleMania. I think we always get our hopes up for that one. I don't know, man. Maybe we are going to have a few special weeks of Raw's. Perhaps we're now entering just such a magical period. This is the final run towards WrestleMania 40. And tonight was just everything. It was just everything. I'm so buzzing. Um, there's a couple of things I just want to say first. Obviously, a big thank you for all the support. I know many of you join us for the watch-alongs and check out the review videos, and there's just so much support. So a big thank you for all of that. We did a review video. Uh, we always do a review video after Raw and SmackDown. We do it like half an hour after the episode ends. I literally record it as soon as the episode ends, and then it goes up about half hour later. Uh, this was about 30 odd minutes long um this one but there was so much to talk about and we did an emergency unseen video as well that went up it was only like five minutes long but there was just a couple of massive monstrous talking points which i just couldn't wait i could not wait uh they, we're going to touch on them in this as well but uh, we might have to do that emergency unseen situation with you know things that happen at wrestlemania and things that happen with like next week's roar or the roar after that like it's such a special time so right with all of that being said i've already spoke for two minutes so let's get straight into it shall we uh right Candice said to Indy, if you don't want to do things my way, you need to find a new partner. So Indy Hartwell was asking, what's got into you? Candice is like, I think I'm unstoppable. Like she's really starting to get unhinged. She's like, I acted like I was injured, just like Katana did the last week. And Indy was like, no, Katana was injured last week. Uh, it's a real fun interaction. But the bottom line is... You know, Candice says, if you don't want to do things my way, then you need to find a new partner. I cannot wait to see where this story goes. Is Indy going to turn and join up with Candice or are they drifting apart? Right, uh, Crater Face said, Birds, uh, you noticed what happened when they panned across? It seems odd, don't you think? So a big shout out to everyone that tagged me in this. And I was, I, I think this is in the running for the tweet I've been most tagged in. Uh, so many people tagged me in this moment where the production truck has got Cena and Stone Cold on it, watching over as Cody is getting absolutely battered. And you can see here, Crater Face said, hashtag Avengers Assemble. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. I mean, is there a chance this was a little cryptic clue, a little Easter egg? Sure. Um, do I think it is? I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I kind of feel like Stone Cold has got a history with The Rock. It would be pretty cool if he came down. Maybe we get that moment. Remember, wasn't it like Shawn Michaels and Mick Foley and there was someone else, I can't remember, who came down to the ring that one time at WrestleMania? Um, maybe we do get that moment where it's going to be Cena and it's going to be Stone Cold and maybe Randy Orton or maybe Dustin Rhodes, you know, perhaps we will get that moment. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I don't know. I'm really torn on this. I'm really torn as to whether that was something or not. Ivy Nile said she has no words. This obviously following the whole Candice, Indy, faking and injury stuff. So uh, Ivy Nile says she has no words. 
Jim said, did he get injured doing that move? Strange that the camera panned away. Uh, I don't think anyone picked up any injury. I've not seen any word of any injury. Drew said, it's coming up, all coming up, DM hunk. So obviously we saw Drew or I'm guessing you saw Drew talking to Paul Heyman backstage earlier in Raw. The belief is this is why. So Drew working kind of with the bloodline, which is mental if you think about Clash at the Castle when they cost him at Clash at the Castle. So, yeah, this is crazy. So this is the moment right here. Look, there's uh, Drew. He comes over, hurls Seth into the ring post Future Shock DDT. Boom. And down he goes. I don't know about panning away or anything like that. I don't think there's any injuries or anything. But um, it's all coming up. DM Hunk. Right, Indy Hartwell actually interferes in this raw talk moment, um, and she basically apologizes and says that she doesn't know what's got into Candice. They say, well, what are you going to do? Uh, and she's like, I don't know. I think Maxine says, well, you're going to leave her, yeah? And she's like, well, I don't know. She's just not being herself. I think she's just tired of losing. And they're like, well, if you're going to support this kind of behavior... Well, then, you know, you're enabling it, basically. So, you know, Indy is in a very difficult situation. But um, I do like this story. It's a good story, this. Uh, Liv, Starchild said hints. So Liv said patience is truly a virtue and I will make it worth it. So people asking where was Liv? I'm going to be brutally honest, shockingly honest. I didn't even notice that she wasn't on the show. This show was so good. I didn't even notice. Someone had to mention her name after. Um, and that's not me being a hater. I mean, there was lots of people that didn't get appearances on this show. But, oh, this show was so good. I didn't look at it and think, oh, I wish such and such was on this show. I just enjoyed it so, so much. So I didn't notice, but um, lots of people did. And uh, like Liv Starchild here saying, could this be a hint? Patience is truly a virtue. I will make it worth it. JD McDonough said another loss. Tired of feeling like this. Don't even want to see Priest's face tomorrow at breakfast. I know. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Another loss for J.D. McDonough. WWE on Fox said, did you catch this? So there you can see Awesome Truth talking in the background. Drew McIntyre chatting with Paul Heyman. And that wasn't the only background conversation that was interesting. We've got pictures of the second one later. Right, Cody Rhodes broke a WWE rule. The Rock interrupted him immediately. Now, I don't know if there's a bit of artistic license here, but basically when Cody cursed, he said, bank fest, right? Um, that is not long after that is when The Rock came out. Now, I, I don't know, to be honest, if The Rock came out because that was his cue, um, kind of felt like the right time for him to come out. I don't know that uh, they were like, quick, let's send The Rock out there. Cody's gone rogue. I don't think that was happening, right? Uh, quick, get him out there. God only knows what Cody's going to say. I don't think that's what happened. I just think it was his cue. It was his time to go out there. But um, yeah, look, Cody did uh, curse. But then, oh my God, Rock was cursing later in the show. There is a lot of cursing. And it is an interesting conversation uh, because a lot of people don't care about it, actually like it. And then there's some out there that feel a bit uncomfortable with it and don't really like it like as regular as what we're getting it now. Um, don't know. Is it a sign of where we're going? Is it a sign? I mean, it was even mentioned on the show about like in one of the promos about can't wait for us to go to Netflix because, like, then we can curse away, basically. Uh, I don't know. For me, I'm not a massive fan of the swearing. I don't think it's necessary all the time. But then there are moments where I think it's necessary. So, I don't know. I just kind of play each moment as it is, really. 
Uh, right. So, Joey, thank you. Joey White, thank you. Grayson Waller responding to Candice LeRae and her ultimatum for Indy Hartwell. It's fun to do bad things. That's how Grayson Waller reacted. This was the stage. Certified Boomer, thank you. WrestleOps said this is the stage setup. It looks great. I, I have no problem with it. It's the Survivor Series stage. I think um, there's a few people worried that this is the new setup. They've only done this to get in as many people as they can into this arena. This is just for this week. So I, I actually thought it was fine. No, I've got no problem with it whatsoever. I don't have an emotional connection really to any stage in particular. I just think actually mixing it up is kind of cool. Not quite knowing what the set is going to look like from a week to week basis. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. So uh, this worked absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, the Awesome Truth has that dog in them. Oh, do you know what? I don't know if we'll get in trouble for this, but there's a bit here I really want to play. Let's play. We never went to commercial break. What Judgment Day did to everyone out there and what they keep doing is inserting themselves where they don't belong. But let's face it. Let's face it. Ten days. Ten days. WrestleMania, yep. we are going to take what here we go. is most prized to them. Here we go. Their most prized possession. Their most prized possession. They got this little figurine, this little <laughs> animal thing that they keep in the clubhouse. You know what I'm saying? The tag it, it, titles. <laughs> we are going to take yes. their tag <laughs> titles. Test, dog. Of course. <laughs> We're going to take their most prized possession. Yeah. They've got this little figurine, right? This little animal thing in the club. <laughs> No, the tag titles. Oh, yeah, 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 the tag titles. I uh, love that. R-Truth, amazing. Right, Andrade said that he's waiting to see what happens after WrestleMania 40. And it was brought up that he had been seen talking to Dominic. Uh, could he elaborate on what that was? And he said, Tranquila, uh, take it easy, right? Uh, so he wasn't going to reveal any details, but uh, he said he's waiting for what happens after WrestleMania 40. Chan Man says, we got chaos, we got superstars, we got unpredictability, we got cursing, we got fire promos, we got bloods. This is as close to the Attitude Era as we've been in decades. Tonight's Raw was an all-timer. What a show. It really was. It, was. it really was. I said, I've been doing live streams since 2018. I would put this Raw up there with i think anything that i've watched in that time period anything i've watched uh since 2018 doing watch alongs for i would put this raw right up there um there may be shows that i've enjoyed more right i really can't think of them right now though uh since i've been streaming um, but yeah, I mean, you probably do have to go back to some of those really iconic raw episodes. That's where I think this show belongs. It was, um, it was amazing. It was amazing. Best raw is trending right now. Best raw is trending. Um, it's amazing. Uh, what is that red viscous liquid coming out of Cody on this TV PG program? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. what is that red viscous liquid it can't be blood it's not allowed to be blood uh the big story here is that the rock stayed for all three hours says uh wwe creative humor and there we go that was the second conversation in the background this one a little harder to see actually because they were really tucked away in the background i could spot them and i could tell that someone was wearing wrestling gear but i could not make out who they were during the live stream i had to get up and get closer to my tv to try and make out who it actually was but it was andrade and dominic chatting away Liv morgan during the show four hours ago said i'm watching and uh, here, look, her S said, do something. Stop watching. And Liv said, in due time. So uh, Liv has got a plan. It just didn't involve this show. 
Uh, Charlotte loved what she was watching uh, during Giovanni and Andrade. And I hope it was Andrade, but maybe she's got eyes for Giovanni. I'm not sure. Imagine that. Imagine if she did respond to this because she loves Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the best. Uh, tonight, the role of Ivar will be played by Giovanni Vinci. Someone get Ludwig Kaiser some antlers, says uh, WWE Creative. I love WWE Creative humor. Definitely, definitely worth a follow. Right, Mick Mill said WrestleMania Philly about to be turnt, turnt. Uh, Triple H said, game on, the whole world's on notice. Meek Mill, WrestleMania. I could not name one Meek Mill track if it's, uh, well, I just couldn't name it. I was going to say, if a Meek Mill track slapped me in the face, I wouldn't know what it was. It might be one of them where someone goes, yeah, you know, bumping, bumping. Where he goes, bumping, 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 bumping. Bump him, bump him, bump. I'll be like, no, I don't know it. I've never heard that track before, so I wouldn't know it. But I don't know any Meek Mill. But uh, he will be at WrestleMania. He got an advert tonight. And um, yeah, good. Hopefully, I mean, maybe he'll do a cover, you know. Perhaps he'll do uh, uh, California Love uh, by Katy Perry. I know that one. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Public Enemies podcast said Dean Ambrose cited on Raw. I wonder what happened to that guy. There he is. There he is. They didn't blur him out or crop him away. He was in all his glory. Ivar said, I do not like sitting on the sidelines. Don't know what his injury was, to be honest. Don't know. He's not happy about it. Um, but they said due to a uh, medical not being cleared, basically, he was meant to be in action tonight against Andrade, but it was changed over to uh, Giovanni. And big shout out to Maverick at One True Mav. Definitely worth a follow. Um, he pointed out, look, Seth's emotion changed when he turned around. I think Seth betraying Cody is possible. He said something don't feel right, as if he knew that Summit was going to go down. He's been wearing dark clothes the past few weeks. It's theater. There is no coincidences. I don't think there's coincidences. What I will say is that I think WWE are potentially trying to plant seeds so that you don't quite know what's going to happen. You know, right now there's a big theory about could Seth turn on Cody, but there's also a big theory that Rock could turn on Roman. And I think, you know, the whole that kind of stuff um, and, you know, there's lots of other little theories that are like going around. Is uh, Zilla Fatu going to get involved? Is Jacob Fatu going to get involved? Rikishi putting his teases online. There is a lot of muddiness around. And, and I think they're doing it so that you don't quite know as to how WrestleMania is going to play out. And it's the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. If we were sat here and we just knew that Cody was going to finish his story and there was no doubt whatsoever, that would be a bit disappointing. So this might be them just muddy in the water. This might not mean that Cody is going to be turned on and that Seth's going to turn on him. But it could as well. It could as well. Let me play the moment here. So here you can see, look, big smile on Seth's face. He looks, Jay walks away. Yeah, a little more serious. Bit more serious. And you can't quite see it there, but he gets even more serious just as this starts to really fade. You can sort of see it there, look. Bit more serious. Look at this. Look at that. That is very different to the man that we had earlier, and it won't let me show you earlier. But, um, yeah, you can see a lot more serious there. A lot more serious. So has he got something up his sleeve? Potentially. Potentially. But uh, Maverick, I love the detail that you've gone into there. I said to Maverick, make sure that you uh, uh, tag me in on like these theories. You can see, look at that, nearly 200,000 views, man. Amazing. Amazing. Right. Uh, what next? What next? 
let's go to WWE. So we've got a new docuseries on the way. Now, this was shown during Raw, so we don't need to play it, but it looks brilliant, right? It's on Roku. It's all about these people trying out, trying to become the next Roman Reigns, the next Charlotte Flair. It looks absolutely brilliant. And it's executive producer John Cena. So WWE next gen. Should be good. Should be really good. Um, Brady, thank you. Bembo as well, thank you. Candice stealing the camera. Is this Maxine? I only saw this once. Let's have a look. No, 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 you're done. You're done. <laughs> it is, isn't it? No, 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 you're done. You're done. So there we go. They're sat and I don't know what they're doing together. It doesn't really look like Maxine, to be honest, but then she's eating, I think. And uh, they're just like, you know, chilling, having a good time. And then Candice comes in and goes, no, nope, you're done. You're done. And she uh, snatches the camera away. I am loving what we're doing with her at the moment. I think she's really, really fun. Really fun. Right. Let's go 2K. Uh, so, yeah, there were some stars that were removed. Let's go full screen and I'll see if I can show you these. So, apparently, these renders here were found in the game. So, here, let me go all the way up to the top, actually. So, it says that, is that Dana Brooke, Mustafa Ali, Edge? These are all renders that were found in the game. Uh, but you can't actually, like, get access to the characters. There, you can see Top Dollar... Uh, I think, is that an old Triple H? Naomi, uh, Zelina, a different Zelina uh, render by the looks of it. Uh, Brie Bella, Matt Riddle, Sasha Banks, Jagger Reed, Eddie Thorpe, uh, Chikara Jackson was in the main menu, uh, Emma was in the main menu, Nia Jax was in the main menu, Lacey Evans and Chikara with uh, new gear in game. Lacey Evans in action as well. So Lacey Evans, I haven't seen this actually. Let's have a look. So Lacey Evans. So Joe mashups. This I don't. I don't think this is a download or anything. I think they have just found things kind of hidden in the game code. You know. So uh, there's Lacey and all these renders, which would suggest that these characters were planned to be in the game, but are not in the game. So I thought that was interesting for those that uh, are into their 2K stuff. Let's have a look at Rhea, shall we? Uh, Rhea has been spotted wearing a wrist cast. Don't know. Don't know. Is that new? Old? I'm not sure. But um, apparently this doing the rounds three hours ago from Tristan. So maybe something to keep an eye on. Becky wants to open uh, one of the nights, night one of WrestleMania. That would be a good spot for them, actually. I think they know they're not closing the night on night one. So opening up would be a real good spot. Maybe we open up with Rhea and Becky the one day and we open up with EO and Bailey the second day. Uh, and then you've got, obviously, the tag match to close night one and Roman against Cody to close night two. Roman Cody. Oh, man, that match. That match. Tonight's Raw did so much to build that up, and Roman wasn't even there. But, you know, that they weren't building up the tag match with the end of Raw this week. It was the Mama Rhodes. It was the Bell. It was Cody's blood being all over it. Um, to me, this is, you know, The Rock saying he's going to make sure that story doesn't get finished. This is the only belt he's going to get close to. And so all of this stuff is just building up that championship match for me. And, of course, the tag match as well. But uh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. Right, uh, let's go in the per folder. There's, jeez. Oh, Tristan said per folder gone wild. <laughs> <laughs> I think even the dogs are barking. So Chicago, mom is here, Rhea Ripley. So wow, right? Wow. And then here she said, I could post a video or a photo online and watch these freaks eat it. That's you, that is. That's you. You're a freak. 
I could watch these freaks eat it up. So there we go. The perv folder is alive and well. Right, let's go down uh, the folder for The Rock. This, uh, unfortunately, was out before the show, and but it's very interesting. Adam said, could this be something for tonight's Raw? I could see it happening. At the same time, I can see it being fake. So this is Dapt TV on TikTok. Um, and basically, Dapt TV said that there was an email and the email had gone to a friend of theirs that was asking for a Raptor car uh, because they wanted it for The Rock's arrival on Raw. So this did the rounds. I sort of can't blame this guy, to be honest, because... If I had that information, I'd also be like, uh, how do you keep that to yourself that The Rock might be on Raw, right? He might be on Raw. He's not advertised for Raw, but he might be on Raw. How do you keep that to yourself? I don't know that you can. So, I, 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 you know, I don't blame this guy. But uh, it is a shame, isn't it, in retrospect, that it did kind of get leaked. But WWE won't care. Because WWE didn't announce it, but words still managed to sort of get out there, you know. So, Adam, thank you. Uh, Jim said, Brandy is going to go full open mic night, Bish, on Dwayne. He better keep his security detail tight at Mania. That's all. We included that in the emergency unseen, I thought. Knowing what Dustin had said, knowing what Brandy had said, and then talking about that um, theory, they definitely felt like uh, key talking points that I just wanted to get out a bit earlier. Right, tonight, I'm going to make you bleed. Let's play this. So Jack O'Hara, I think, has uh, decoded this. Tonight, I'm going to make you bleed. Let me play that again. Tonight, I'm going to make you bleed. Yeah, I mean, you can see it, can't you? You can see that that's what he said. So tonight, I'm going to make you bleed. So uh, Jack uh, managed to work that out. I think quite a few people had worked it out. I saw Sean Ross Sapp saying that that's what he thought was said as well. So uh, Trent, thank you. Sean Ross Sapp said, The Rock's new render. So that is the latest image of The Rock, which they use for like posters and um, on the superstar page and bits and bobs. So that's the new render of The Rock. Right. Uh, Alexa responding eyes emoji. The Rock keeps his promise. So Alexa was watching. What a moment this was. Oh, my God. It is so good. It is so good. Look at that. So Cody Blades. Look, in the rain as well. In the rain. Mama Rhodes. Mama Rhodes. Look at that. It is so good. And then he wipes the blood off Cody's face and puts it on the... How does Cody not finish his story now? How does he not finish his story? So Alexa was watching. Damien Priest said, damn, no security. <laughs> and Lexis King said, that was cinema. Do you know what I was thinking? Imagine the next day at NXT, like today, as they all meet up and get ready for the show tonight. And they're like, did you see Raw last night? Can you imagine like everyone just talking about, I mean, this is, this is all time. This moment right here, this is all time. This, you could do a compilation of the best moments of Raw and I, I really think that you're going to include this. I mean, look, this is so powerful. So powerful. People love to think they're watching some history being made and that they're watching something real significant. And as someone that's been watching since the early 90s, and I know many of you have been watching even before that, you are. <laughs> We've said enough to know you are. Right, so we did rock uh, NXT. Uh, we got a few bits in here. Uh, Di imagine Dijak Gunther said Tristan. Peekaboo, I'm watching you, said Dijak. There he is, look, in the corner. Sean Spears versus Dijak. That's taking place on NXT. And we'll be doing the live stream for NXT, of course. There's uh, Gunther, man, looking hip, looking like a model. 
Do you remember? Like, we've seen that old retro footage of him. Look at him now. That is life goals. That is life goals. Peekaboo, I'm watching you, said Dijak. Right, uh, Tristan said, Mello versus Gunther, please, and thanks. Right, Fightful said, Fightful Select has been told that Carmelo Hayes has been set for a main roster call-up since prior to the Royal Rumble. Hayes is expected to move to the main roster full-time shortly after Stand and Deliver. Right, I don't think that's going to be a massive surprise. I think there's a good chance we see him on the Raw after WrestleMania. Although we did use him before on SmackDown. So maybe SmackDown is going to be his home. But uh, yeah, him coming up after WrestleMania makes a lot of sense. He's going to be a fun addition to the main roster. Four NXT stars were spotted at Raw tonight. I can tell you it was Hank Tank, Idris Anofi, and Mallet Blade. I think they had been competing on main events. So that's why they were there. So that's all that is. Not really too exciting. Carmelo Hayes, look, putting out these uh, bullseye emojis tomorrow night on NXT. Get ready for the return of prime target Carmelo versus Trick Williams. So we're building towards that match at Stand and Deliver. And uh, it should be a fun show, NXT, tomorrow. Should be a real fun show. Lola Vice has issued an open challenge as well. So don't know who's going to be answering that. Hopefully it's going to be someone juicy. Hopefully it's going to be someone juicy. But uh, Lola Vice has issued an open challenge. Right, we've done that, 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 we've done that. We have did we, we've done raw, haven't we? We've done raw. We've got CM Punk. Let's go down. Look at this. Uh if we go full screen on this one, this was uh what he put out earlier today, right? So CM Punk said, I see what Rhea Ripley has been doing on house shows, and I'm prepared to raise the bar. <laughs> <laughs> see you tomorrow chicago so uh this was tweeted out just moments after i did yesterday's unseen uh so unfortunately it didn't quite make it but um yeah amazing 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 really thought that was fun right cm punk hints that he's gonna cross paths with the rock so uh he said i gave them what they wanted a little bit of uh the cm punk they hoped to see the the menace on the microphone he said that uh he's not medically cleared but coming here to chicago he feels he's got a responsibility he said the glad he's glad the rock's back he thinks their paths will cross he thinks his paths will cross with everybody at some point um, and he says that he's glad The Rock hasn't mentioned him because that means The Rock knows his role and he knows to keep his mouth shut. He said um, he wouldn't be impartial if he was to be a referee. And then he's really pervy at the end, but in a really funny way. Let's see if we can uh, play it, actually. WWE right now. It's this guy. I'd like to maybe try my hand out as a referee, but yeah. uh, honestly, I would not be able to be impartial with those two idiots. So maybe commentary is the best thing to do. You were trying your hand out or your arm out. Earlier. Well, you'd be surprised with being in this brace for like six to seven weeks of doing like I do everything with this left hand. I, everything. <laughs> Kathy Kelly. Great. All right. I'm glad that the world knows that now. Thank you so much for this, <laughs> and uh, I hope you got to enjoy your time in Japan. I <laughs> very much. Did. Best place in the world. Yes. I do everything with this left hand. <laughs> Kathy was like, "Great, thank you." awkward so uh there we go cm punk uh so jay cries a thank you uh Liv starchild said drew is something else try not to injure yourself putting on that headset phil right so uh obviously what a what a segment this was man julian said following punk through gorilla for his entrance so uh here we go look at this this is cm punk making his way through gorilla out look at that you get to follow cm punk you get to see sort of what it's like from his perspective you know so good so good so good it won't play again thank you right uh cm punk brought the real world championship said kenny for your thoughts <laughs> 
the real world championship. There he is with his Cubs belt. So uh, that was good. Right, fun. Let's go down into the fun folder. A few bits in here. Wow. This might be the most we've ever had in this folder. We've got a glitch. Let's have a look. So uh, never use a car window as a mirror. So Landu. This is the humidity is insane. We could just go out to eat. Wait, is this guy looking at you? Wait. 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 Dude, this guy's crazy. Oh my god. My bad. My bad. Oh my god. <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? That's good, isn't it? That's good. That's really good. The way they did that, I think, is really, really good. I don't I don't think that's genuine. I just thought that was really, really fun. So, uh, uh, Lando. Oh, look at this. The macho verse, man. Personal, personal friends of the channel, right? Absolutely brilliant. And Mike as well. Uh, Mike Raimondo is the name of uh, this gentleman. And uh, he portrays... Uh, Dusty, and this is, I think, a bit of a highlights package. I absolutely love these guys. So you can follow the Machoverse, and you can follow Mike uh, Raimondo. We have featured them previously in Unseen, and uh, oh. this is just really good. I've got to take the sound down, but look at this. I didn't realize he'd been in the ring with Cody. Oh, that he'd done that. Look at that. I had no idea that this guy had uh, actually had these moments there he is with uh cm punk there he is with uh mick foley as well uh shaking hands with i've seen that that's classic uh, rick flair absolutely loved meeting him and he was like you've got to go see cody you've got to go see cody and uh charlotte as well these two guys man they're so much fun look at that look at bischoff I, d I, I honestly didn't realize this guy had, like, done so much. But there he is with uh, the Nacho Verse. I really love these guys. Just really making sure that uh, the fun stays in wrestling, you know? There they are with some... I think those are some Slim Jims. <laughs> Walking down the street. Oh, God, so good. So good. Look, there he is with Cody again, man. Cody actually gives him the microphone so that he can talk to the fans. <laughs> Cody look absolutely creasing up at the impression. Ah, oh, they are so good. You got to check these guys out, man. So, so good. All right, uh, Maurice, thank you for tagging me in that. Really appreciate it. Harry, thank you for tagging me in that. Uh, great Car Lee cooking masterclass, says uh, Dave. Let's uh, try and whoosh it in, shall we? Here's the Great Car Lee. So he goes over. Okay, all good so far. Put that in. Oh, everything's on fire. Oh, chuck it on the floor. There we go. <laughs> I do like this comment by Money Don, right? Look at that. Money Don said, fire, no good. I drop fire. Giant sad. <laughs> That's really, look at oh, So good. So, so good. Fire, no good. I drop fire, giant sad. <laughs> so uh, there we go. Lovely, lovely. Dave in real life, thank you. Right, Watson, shout out to you. The Rock at the end of Raw tonight was better than in his last five movies. I couldn't even name The Rock's last five movies, but uh, I can believe it. Master Taker said, I think I found what you was looking for last night on Unseen. This is exactly what I was looking for. This is amazing. Look at this. So there is Shayna. Shayna's saying, here we go, bring it in, bring it in. She wants, she wants Rhea Ripley to give her a stink face. She gets a stink face. Look at her, she's like, yeah! She celebrates, turns around. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I love this. So if you didn't see yesterday's Unseen, this is footage from a house show, and 
And uh, Shayna wanted to be stink faced by Rhea Ripley. And she thought she had been. She celebrates and then realizes what actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh man wrestling is the best at it it's the it's the best it is the best so uh master taker thank you tristan said look at drew's caption on the video it's very good isn't it very good it's a great little put down uh not much but i caught this Anything cool happened to anyone this weekend? I went grocery shopping, says Naya. Here we go. Look, these two fighting. <laughs> it's like, don't feed the animals. I, I feel like, I like being at a zoo. There we go. Naya Jack's getting a bit of popcorn. Bit of popcorn from the, uh, the crowds. This is such a great advert for house shows, isn't it? Such a great advert. So good. Tristan said The Rock cooks again, right? Uh, you need a group full of strangers to acknowledge your little B ass, right? Photo here of uh, Cody with some Cody fans. Well, actually, no, I think that is the woman, isn't it? I think, am I right that that was the woman that said it? I think that is the woman. And uh, The Rock said, typical Cody crybabies, ugly as hell. <laughs> Mate. Now, do you know, now I'm looking at this picture, I'm pretty sure she was the girl that said that line to Roman on SmackDown. So, like, you know, Roman had just not shut Cody's hand, jumped out the ring, backed away. That's when Jimmy and Solo arrive and Roman's looking all smug. And then this girl shouted out, you need a group full of, a room full of strangers to acknowledge your little ass. And, and the mics picked it up perfectly. And I think it was her. Rock responding, ugly as hell. <laughs> it's the best, isn't it? Wrestling is the best. Ray Ray, shout out to you. Uh, it's Bryn again said, first thing I thought when I saw this was The Rock had locked them both in the room. Uh, CM Punk and Cody backstage, yeah. Yeah, it does look like they've both been locked in the room, yeah. Do you think they recreated that uh, post that CM Punk put out earlier? Uh, yeah, this is great. We're in Chicago. In Chicago. You know what? I've been coming here for about 16 years. I've never actually mm -hmm. seen any of the landmarks. And today... I want to fix that. It's going to fix it. It's going to go to a landmark. I'm very much at one with Chicago. It feels like my birthday and Christmas all rolled into one. Here we go. Let me lock this car real quick. We're still in Chicago. <laughs> I better lock this car. Right, as I was saying. <laughs> We're still in Chicago. Check out. I've heard so much about it. I think this is the right spot. There it is. There it is. Mindy's Bakery. It, just as much as I have, I'm excited for them to feel brilliant in it. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! And it's locked, <laughs> all the way closed, uh, closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. <laughs> Why wouldn't your business be closed on a Monday and Tuesday? All right, well, probably tastes like crap anyway. Yeah, to be honest, I yeah, need to eat that crap. I'll get something else to fuel myself for tonight. Brilliant, isn't it? So that's him basically going to Mindy's Bakery. If you don't know Mindy's Bakery, you might remember the brawl outs, the big drama, CM Punk and the AEW uh, press conference where it all kicked off. He was eating muffins from Mindy's Bakery uh, and like put them over. He was like, these are really good. You know, Mindy's Bakery, you got to go, blah, 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 blah. So here was Drew going. He goes there. I don't know what he had planned you know, I'd imagine he was going to have a lot of fun going inside and uh, maybe winding up the staff a little bit. Uh, I'm sure he would have bought some as well. But, um, yeah, they were closed. So they trolled him, really. They ended up trolling him. So uh, I did think that was really fun. Uh, Piper Niven and Bully Ray are still going. 
they're still going, right? Piper Niven said, uh, did you know that you've been wrestling longer than I've been alive? Crazy. And yet here I am handing your ass to you on Twitter. Um, oh, my God. I, I would show all of this, but honestly, they've been going and going and going and going and going. There's no signs of it stopping anytime soon. So she says, uh, something creative and American. How about your chin has taken more balls than Derek Jeter's bats? <laughs> Hilarious in all dialects, me. <laughs> This was, this was after Bully Ray told us that one of her previous tweets was an awful comeback. Delete it and think of something more creative. So she said, your chin has taken more balls than Derek Jeter's uh, bats, which is hilarious. He responded, uh, your chin also, the second one. Oh, mates. Mate, the back and forth between these two is uh, we did a whole list of it. It's still going on. If we hadn't just had one of the best roars I've ever seen, if this was a little quieter and we weren't just rammed full of talking points anyway, I would have dug into this again more. If you want to see all the previous stuff, it was in yesterday's Unseen. I may try and revisit this in a few days' time and see where we are with it, but uh, amazing. So, uh, Darius fan, thank you. Shout out to you. Uh, Julian said, my timeline is filmed, filled with tweets saying this was the best Raw they've seen in years. Some might say it's the best Raw ever. With Triple H finally having full control over the product, this man is on a mission to give us top-tier wrestling and entertainment. Right? Absolutely going off. Absolutely loving what we got tonight. And I, as I said, completely agree. Uh, this was good. This was everywhere. Tristan, thank you. So here's uh, Kyrie. She's signing stuff for fans. She goes over, wallops Becky with her umbrella. Becky then jumps down. Kyrie runs away, which is uh, really, really fun. Really love that. Right. Um, it was so good. I got mad that USA Network put on some lousy, rich country family show. What are you afraid of, boy? The Rock. WWE is putting on numbers, and you're out here giving fans country folks fighting over land. Now, I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but apparently USA Network cut to something during the show, or maybe immediately after the show. Perhaps they cut real quick to something else. Perhaps it was like that real intense moment of Rock and Cody and then we went to some country thing, right? So, uh, yeah, they, they weren't best pleased. USA Network responded, sorry, Goku. <laughs> That's pretty fun, isn't it? That's pretty fun. Love that. Right, uh, Harry said, this is fun. This is fun, actually. Have I got the thing for it? Let me see if I can find it. I can find it. Let's go over to this, and let's go over here. Right, let's uh, bring it down. This, I don't know what this is from. This is from some sort of rap battle, right? This is the Usos and Naomi uh, in some sort, on some sort of show. So this is from the Usos Day One Glow, okay? It's coming back around now. Here we go. The fake rock looking like he got hope. The Uso brothers, y'all not dope. I lay y'all girls butt naked and jump balls first off the top rope. Oh. And Naomi, don't be hiding there. What you gonna say that I'm really small? Cause I'll do you like Monday Night Wrestling and give it to you raw. Oh. <laughs> and even though y'all should never say nothing to anybody in my background, it's ironic y'all the wrestlers, but my team just laid the smack down. It's good in it. The fake rock looking like he. Got it's good in it. That's that's fun, man. That's fun. I don't know what that's from. I, I, I feel like that's probably quite old, but uh, I, I've never seen that before. So, uh, yeah, really enjoyed that. So, uh, Harry, thank you. Um, 
when the algorithm gets it right. So here's the punch. Oh. Boom. So I just got punched in the face. <laughs> that's mental, isn't it? So that, that's Kathy Kelly's uh, TikTok algorithm. It shows this moment of Dominic getting punched. And then it cuts to this woman where she's like, so I just got punched in the face. I mean, I hope this woman's all right. But uh, Kathy Kelly said, I hope that when the algorithm gets it right. Random. Uh, <laughs> look at this. Hangam High said, watch me post the full segment. I think that's the full segment of the end of Raw. And USA Network responded saying, calling Hunter. Uh, with this, uh, Jiff as well of Jay on the phone. Calling Hunter, so USA Network calling Triple H and report in Hangem High, just for jokes, obviously. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, it's a pretty good ass, to be honest. That's what Rhea Ripley said to Dominic when Becky Lynch said that Rhea posts her ass on the internet for attention. Apparently, she turned to Dominic and said, "It's a pretty good ass, to be honest." <laughs> I didn't pick up on that at the time. Right, there's a moment here where they get, I think a bit of, is it a backstabber? Uh, no, they, uh, Uranagi by the looks of it, plants him down, right? It's absolutely plants him. Is it a Uranagi or a chokeslam? Uranagi. Can't quite tell. But uh, he slams him down, and apparently on commentary, R Truth referred to it as a Bakiotomi. Bakiotomi? He just made up a word. He just hit him with a Bakiotomi? R Truth was hilarious for that, said Chan Man. Right here, you want to know what I think, punk? Punk? Nope. <laughs> that was on the show. I'm brilliant. Do you want to know what I think, punk? Nope. Brilliant. Brilliant. To be fair, I don't think I could be objectively fair with these two dipshits, CM Punk on being the special guest ref. And immediately Drew jumped in and went, PG brother, PG brother, and, and cut him off. And people were loving that little comeback there from Drew. Loving it. Who chose you? What a moment. What a moment. Let's see. Have we got the, the have we got his face? Who chose you? Who chose you? You're the chosen one. Well, who chose you? Look at this face. That's the face of a man that knows. Just got checkmated. Just got checkmated. So good. Who chose you? Tell me his name. Tell me his name. Who chose you? Oh. When you get checkmated, that's the face that you pull, man. Oh, man. Oh, I love this as well. He's so wrestling, said it's time. That reminds me so much of Cody with his vodka bottle the other day. <laughs> really good. Uh, and Liv said, when CJ Perry starts an oven fire and you only know how to use a fire extinguisher and put out the flames because of Extreme Rules 2022. Thank you, wrestling. Look at that. They had to use a fire extinguisher to put out this fire. And she said that she only knows how to use one because of Extreme Rules 2022. That is goated. That is brilliant. So there we go, Liv Morgan. Right, we've got to be quick because I really don't want this going over an hour. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right, Killer Kelly apparently has not left TNA. Uh, reports are now she's signed until August 2025. Earl Hebner has got a new book out, and he said that he wanted, he wanted to see Nails whip Vince McMahon's ass. Right, so obviously we know Nails uh, attacked uh, Vince about SummerSlam money back in 92, ended up losing his job. Um, and Earl Hebner's got some real interesting comments to make. Um, and he talks about loads of moments from, like, his career. It, uh, honestly, it could be a fascinating book, a book from Earl Hebner, just full of road stories and backstage gossip and what could be amazing. So that's uh, that's coming out. It's on the way. He said he wanted to see Nails whip Vince McMahon's ass. Uh, Asuka makes her in-ring return at live event. No, she didn't. So this, right, 
What's happened is Cage Match have put up that Asuka competed in a match on Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, when footage from the shows, images from the shows, does not show Asuka, right? To my knowledge, she wasn't at the house shows this weekend. Um, it looks like it was the other three members of Damage Control and not Asuka. And you might remember, I think we spoke about this yesterday. But these guys have gone off what Cage Match says, and Cage Match says that Asuka was there. But I've seen footage from the shows, and she wasn't. So th all this Asuka makes her return and all this stuff, it seems to be based on some, like, wrong news. Right, some uh, like news that's not very accurate. So um, just be aware of that, that we still don't know what's happening with Asuka. Charlotte said, my body could stand the crutches, but my mind couldn't stand the sideline. Michael Jordan, rebuild to conquer again. This is a little short video of Charlotte's recovery and where she is and the work that she's done. She's been putting out content all the time about her recovery. It's been 12 weeks um, and she's in a much better place, but she's really broken at the start of it. Damage control, doing damage control things. So here, this is the footage. Here, look, you can see Kyrie, EO, Dakota. This is from Springfield, WWE Springfield. Dakota, EO, Kyrie, no Asuka, but I'm sure this is the event that Cage Match lists Asuka as being competing in. This is the one, Springfield's, but the, but she wasn't in the match. Here's the proof. This is, you can see the three girls that are in this match. So, um, uh, Harry, thank you. Don't know what that was. Oh, muted. Oh, it keeps doing this. I don't have Victor muted. I don't even know who Victor Taylor Perry is. Uh, Victor Taylor Perry said, oh, this is the wrestling club. This is the wrestling club. So they got a shout out and they said, so blessed. There we go. Uh, text. Uh, apparently, Ted DiBiase Jr.'s criminal case has been postponed until 2025. So he is being accused of money laundering and he's facing some serious, serious charges. Uh, and it's been postponed until 2025. Uh, Big E said, had an opportunity to watch the Bray documentary. It is deeply touching and beautifully produced. Could not recommend more. God bless the Rotunda family. So, Shaquem, thank you. WWE we has got an EC project in the works. So uh, Mattel Wells, thank you. Uh, apparently it's just a documentary. That's all. And they're just interviewing people for it. Uh, El Idolo Andrade said, love you. I'm waiting for you. You will return better than ever. So Charlotte said, keep showing them Andrade. And he's got some lovely words in response. Natty said, I got the nicest surprise from Piper Niven, a little ornament to help us remember our little kitty that we've just lost. That's nice, isn't it? Piper getting that for Natalia. Big Bronson Reed said, where's my mania match? Obviously, he was victorious tonight on Raw. So uh, where's my mania match? Bronson, uh, quite fired up. He didn't have loads to say. He just says that he's in the driving seat now. Samantha Urban said that she loves Ricochet and Ricochet responds with some hearts. Corey Graves said that he got to call the action in the new Godzilla trailer as a lifelong monster fan. It blew his mind. Michael said, I'm thinking Kathy Kelly is giving Marvel character Electra vibes from Raw. And uh, get a mellow. So they fight for basically said that these two look like two people. Uh, Trevor Phillips and Franklin Clinton. Don't know. Trevor Phillips, Franklin Clinton. Carmelo responded, F you. And then Fightful deleted the post. So Chan Man says, get a mellow. Uh, then we've got Kathy Kelly looking like the Cheetah Girls. Jade Cargill was at the Hawks game. Uh, and Ronda Rousey says that... Um, Charlotte was not meant to go as long at WrestleMania in her match with Rhea, but she put her big D on the table and said, no, we're going to do this awesome effing match. And that's what the women are dealing with. They're not allowed to show how effing amazing they are because the crowd will be tired for the guys match after. That's BS. 
Tell you what, her book is going to be fascinating. New Rhea shirts, new uh, Becky shirt, and that is everything. We did it. Man, I was racing through the end there because I really don't want these to go over an hour. So if I did race through that Rhea shirt, there it is again. Wrestle Mommy. Wrestle Mommy. And uh, the man against the world. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. Really appreciate the support. Hope you enjoyed this video. I thought there was some really fun stuff and funny stuff in here. Uh, really enjoyed it. Sorry it's later than usual, but hopefully it was worth the wait. Obviously, we're back with another episode of Unseen tonight and an NXT watch along. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye for now.